Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. You? Great. I'm okay. Just with a noisy neighbor, so. <laughs> Do you hear it? No. No, really. Thank no, no. Because really. I'm kind of ashamed because it, it keeps crying like all the time whenever the owner is not at home. But hopefully this earphones don't let the, the background noise be heard. How was your weekend? Hi, good evening, teacher. Hey. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How was your it was weekend? Okay. What's what okay. did you do? <laughs> did you rest? Did you relax? Did you yes, work? I, I rested. I rested. Nice. Good. All right. So usually... What about you, teacher? Ah, well, had a good time. Uh, I worked um, Saturday mornings. I usually have a class, so I taught the class, and then I went out for lunch with a couple of friends in the traffic. Saturday at noon is terrible. And Sunday, I'm just finishing some reports from my, from my job, from my week job. And then I went to buy a new cell phone for, for someone in the family. And then I just went to the supermarket, practically just running errands for the family. Do you, do you drive a car? I do, but it, it's horrible. I mean, every day in the morning, every evening I come back from work. It's Where terrible. Do you live? I live here, the Universidad de Salvador. Oh. Traffic is, is heavy. Yeah. Everything. Every day. Mornings, afternoons, and that Saturday at noon, it took me like an hour and a half to get to La Gran Villa. It was terrible. Well, everybody, I hope you're fine. I hope you are okay. I hope you had a wonderful day. And that you are all ready and full of energy to be in class. Hopefully, yeah. I can have some messages on the chat. Say hello to your partners. Say good evening. Say how are you feeling, how you're doing. Say something regarding the weekend regarding your day well express yourself on the chat I'll, I'll give you the chance you have a couple of minutes to write a couple of sentences about your day your week how you're doing you're ready all right let me see your messages well at least a greeting for the rest of the class Let's see, let's see. Uh huh. Just Fernando said good evening. And everybody should, everybody should say something on the chat. Let's see, let's see. Hurry up. Okay, nice. All right, nice. Very good, Stephanie. You did it. You did it. We did it. <laughs> Let's make this one better. Okay, that's encouragement. That's great. Awesome. 
Uh -huh. Someone else? Good evening, good evening. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Luis Miguel reporting himself on the chat. Someone else? <laughs> All right, good evening. Good evening. All right, just two more people say good evening. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a couple more, please. Well, no more greetings, I see. Okay, then let's have the attendance. Here we go, Abigail. Cecilio. Elizabeth. Emerson. Fernando. Present teacher, sorry. Good evening. Good evening, Francisco, Hazel, San Antonio, Julissa, Carla, Luis Javier. Hi. Uh, Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Michael. Marilyn. Present. Present. Manuel. Marilyn. Present. Hi. Present. Roberto. Present teacher. Donald. Victor. Vidal. Present teacher. Dear. Carlos. Present. Present teacher. Thank you. My goodness. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, as yes, I was projecting, well, yes, this is our class number 11. And Monday, October 9th, that's the day of today. So let's move on. The reminders for every class, about the attendance, and the participation in class. Okay, we're still on the unit two. We're still talking about logistics. And it's very important that you guys have the manual. 
because that's how you know what topics we're covering, what topics we are co uh, we continue studying, and what vocabulary we need to practice, okay? So just a reminder. All right, this is something uh, related to the vocabulary we're gonna be studying today. I just got these images. We're gonna use them later because of the vocabulary they reflect, okay? Something like this. And later we will understand, okay? But we're gonna start with how to use expressions of uncertainty. Remember that once we study expression of certainty, on the first unit, and then on this one, we are using the opposite. So let me share from the manual. Oh, Jesus, one second. I just have it from here. Let's see. My goodness. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Here. Here we go. Yeah, we're still, we're still studying this part of the logistics. And yes, from here. Well, as I mentioned on the presentation, this is the lesson that introduces the expressions of uncertainty, okay? So I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes for you to take a look, for you to read a little bit, how to use expressions of uncertainty, and then we're gonna request some people to read, okay? So you have two minutes, take a look at it and see what the chart expresses, all right? All right, you finished reading? Okay. How to use expressions of uncertainty? Expressions of, oh, look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Expressions of uncertainty are used when you need to say that you are not certain, so you're not sure about something or the something may or may not be true. When you have incomplete knowledge about a situation, 
use a comma after the expression of uncertainty when they proceed a close. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, comma, but the current financial situation may lead to layoff. Did you get any report on when to expect the products? Not to my knowledge. I think they are delayed. As far as I know, most companies selling goods use a third party logistic or at least some domestic functions. Then you have, I doubt, and it's very unlikely to not need to be followed by home. I doubt it is a good idea to hire third party logistic if you need to control the safe the safety of your company's shipment. It is very unlikely for a minimum, sorry, for a medium-sized business to be able to do shipping on its own. Okay, volunteers to read the explanation once again. Very good, Emerson. So read from from this line, how to use expressions of uncertainty, then the, the instruction, then all of this uh, to, yeah, I think you can read it all, okay. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. <clears throat> how to use expressions of uncertainty. Look at the examples in the box, and then complete the exercise below. Expressions of uncertainty are used when you need to say that you're not certain about something or that something may or may not be true or when you have incomplete knowledge about a situation. Use a comma after the expression of uncertainty when they precede a clause. I wouldn't like to say this for certain but the current financial situation may lead to layoffs. Did we get any report on when to expect the products? Not to my knowledge. I think they are delayed. As far as I know, most companies selling goods use a 3PL for at least some domestic functions. Mm -hmm. I doubt and it's very unlikely do not need to be followed by a comma. I doubt it is a good idea to hire a 3PL if you need to control the safety of your company's shipments. It's very unlikely for a medium-sized business to be able to do shipping on its own. Very good. All right. I saw someone else raise his hand. What I would like to ask first, okay, if there is or there are questions regarding this explanation. Okay, so far we have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, five expressions of uncertainty, right? So you have five sentences right here. And I will give you a couple of minutes. Okay, try to choose the correct expression of uncertainty.
need need comma is used for saying. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The second is for the extra B that not to my knowledge. The three uh, is is correct. Uh, I doubled. Uh, uh -huh, the best of my knowledge. Mm, I think it's one. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, the four uh, I think is correct. And the five, yes, two. It's very unlikely for a small company to require logistic global service. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know you want to read it. Okay, um okay, I read the first and I wouldn't like to say this for faint time, but we may need to change our distribution distribution. Distributors. Okay. Uh, did the manager finish evaluating the three PL available? Available, not to my knowledge. I do think it's effective to hire more than one third party logistic services. To the best of my knowledge, we have increased cost. Do you complete the first one? Yeah. I think uh, it'd be... <clears throat> I wouldn't like to say this for certain, cert it's very likely but we may need to change our distributor. Well, you have to choose between one of them, or it is for certain, or it's very likely. And I think it is for certain. The you... second one, the second one is did the manager finish evaluation the three PLs available? And it is not not in my knowledge. Not in my knowledge. Yes. The third one is I doubt it. It is effective to have more than one third file service. Yeah. The fourth one is, to the best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. And the last yeah. one is very unlikely for a small company to require logistic global services. That's right.
All right. You're done, right? So let's do it from here. Yes, teacher. All right. Circle the correct expressions. I wouldn't like to say this. I think it's uh, I wouldn't like to say for thinking, but we may need to change all distrib distributors. Or distributors. Yes. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, or I wouldn't like to say this is very likely. Which one did you choose? For certain. For certain, right. With this one. I yes. wouldn't like to say this for certain, but we may need to change our distributors. All right, number two. Did the managers finish evaluating the three PLs available? Not in my knowledge. Not in my knowledge? Not to my knowledge. In. In my knowledge. Yes. All right. This one, not this one. Why not this one? Huh? So, not in my knowledge, not to my knowledge. Well, let's just keep that one a bit. Because I'm not for certain yet. Doubt it or I doubt it. It is expected to hire more than one third party logistics service. I doubt it. I doubt it. Definitely. All right. The next one, to the best of my knowledge, not to my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. The best of my knowledge. The best of my knowledge. All right, we have increased customer satisfaction. It is very unlikely, or it's very unlikely, or as far as I know, for a small company to require logistic level service. I think it is, it is very unlikely. It is very unlikely, actually. All right, so we still have to decide this work. Not in my knowledge, not to my knowledge. How would I think it's... I think that is no, not to my knowledge. That's why, not to my knowledge. It's similar to now that I know, right? Okay, good. All right. I will give you a couple of minutes for you to create at least three sentences using any of these expressions, okay? I know this two are very, very easy to use because these are the most common ones. It is very unlikely, I doubt, I doubt it, right? So we usually say this one when we are not certain, but probably I wouldn't say this for certain, right? So uh, I would say this for certain, or it is for certain. So you would say probably this three, I would recommend you to use, oh, not to my knowledge, or to my, okay, to the best of my knowledge. Well, as far as I know, it's also very common, actually, if you ask me, okay? So try to write sentences using these expressions and write the sentences on the chat. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes. You can 
I mean, you can relate these expressions to anything, not only to logistic. Remember, it's only expressions of uncertainty, right?
Well, I can read your sentences using uncertainty expressions. I think we have to say it no right. All right, so that's okay. You can okay. start. Go ahead. The, to the best of my knowledge, El Salvador is also known as the Pulgarcito of America. All right. And it's very unlikely that I eat eggplant. <laughs> you don't like them? No, I don't. <laughs> also, I, I don't like pipianes either. <laughs> They taste very similar because they're very yes. flavorless, tasteless. <laughs> yes, right? and the pumpkin too. <laughs> you don't like pumpkins either. No, and <gasps> fucini either. So, oh, none of those family. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't be happy in the states because by this season, by the fall, yes. everything is related to pumpkins. Yes, also because Halloween too. Uh huh. True. True. But here you can make kind of candy from fun <laughs> yes. uh -huh. all right very good someone else someone else who like to share the sentences instead of writing them on the chat oh wow it is very unlikely that other people will share their sentences people um can i say it please <laughs> okay the first one i have is, uh, is it's very unlikely that the situation in guatemala is going to be uh, it go, it, it, in guatemala will be fixed tomorrow uh, uh, yeah or will improve uh -huh. oh wow and what happened to guatemala um i think that they want to uh como se dice desponer a, a, a strike <laughs> to strike a, a fiscal uh, the really? fiscal mm, so the uh, the borders are closed oh really mm -hmm. that's why that's why they were throwing away everything that they produce mm -hmm. i saw some videos uh -huh. i saw some videos but i didn't understand because I, I i don't usually watch the news Mm. Mm. Yes. Oh my God! Continue. Okay. The second one is I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but um, the prices of the vegetable will be high this oh, month. Yes, will be higher and will increase. Oh my God! It's true. Yeah, we bought so many things from Guatemala, mm -hmm. mainly vegetables and fruits, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the last one is, as far as I know, she doesn't want to know anything about me anymore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. Okay, very good. Someone else? For sure. I enjoy when people participate in class, <laughs> for certain. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna nominate people or we're gonna choose the wheel. The wheel decide again. Someone, someone. All right, Stephanie wrote on the chat says. It's very unlikely to go to work for the traffic instead. Okay, it is very unlikely to get fast to work because of the traffic. Yeah. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Someone else? As far as I know, people from the countryside are more educated than people from the city. Oh my God.
as my teenager students would say, fuerte declaración. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Someone else, someone else? No. All right. So I'm going to share a link for the break, <laughs> the first break that we see. Oh, my goodness. I'm very confused with so many things right here. Give me a second. The first activity we're going to work on. Oh, wait a second. First, I need to. I got this chart. I'm going to put it here in the chat. For some other expressions you can use for uncertainty. Okay. So you can check it out. We have these other expressions. I'm not sure of that. I doubt it. I don't think so. I have doubts about that. I don't believe it. I'm uncertain about that. It is possible. Maybe, perhaps, probably, I'm doubtful. So those are some other expressions of uncertainty. All right. And now let me share the link. As I told you, we're going to be having some breaks for improving vocabulary. And this one is a bit of tricky, but mm -hmm. I think you will enjoy it. Let me see. I'm here in the chat, all right? There you go. And of course, try to work in it. We're going to give you a couple of minutes, and right after, we're going to be sharing the answers, all right? We have a couple of minutes to work on, the, on that exercise. Mm -hmm.
Hi, Magdiel. Do you finish? Not yet. I am working that. Okay. Well, good evening, Luis. Have you finished the exercise? No. Oh, okay. What about the rest? I already finished. If I were you, I would uh, go to the doctor immediately. Yes. What would you do if you found a wallet in the street? Number five, I would forgive Sophie if I were you. Yeah. Number seven, if I were you, I would tell Kevin the food. Number eight. What would you what would you do if you saw a snake? Yes. And this question I have wrong. I got wrong. But I, I thought uh, because he is so why not is C because it is asking what would you do if you saw a snake, no if you are seeing a snake. It is talking I think uh, in the past. Yes. 
and it is also to like a uncertain phrase. Okay. Number nine. If I were you, I would buy this hat. It's nice. Yes. Number ten. If I weren't in English class now, I would be watching TV. Yeah. All right. Give me a minute, please. I finish. Okay, did you have all the answers good? Yes.
All right, did you get them correct? Was there any problem? No? All right. Yes, all right. Okay, perfect. Well, let's wait for everybody to join the session back. And then we compare. All right, it seems that everybody's back. All right, the first sentence was, <clears throat> if I wouldn't walk to work every day. Uh-huh. What is the condition? If, don't you remember? Um, so, which one? Letter A. If I had a car, yes. This is a hypothetical situation, right? If I won the lottery. Would you buy? I would. I would buy. Because it's hypothetical, right? If or if I were you, I would go to the doctor immediately. Yes. Mm -hmm. What would you do if you found? If you found the wallet in the street. Uh -huh. Wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trick you, Sophie, for work. Oh, this person is so very resentful. <laughs> if, if I were not busy. I will go. I would go to Brenda's party, exactly. But I'm busy. <laughs> uh huh. If I were you, could cool I could, I would. Would. I would. I would tell Kevin the truth. If I were you, <laughs> what would you do if you? If you see a snake, if you see, so if you saw, this doesn't mean that you will see a snake like oh uh, on a daily basis, right? So if that happened, right? That's why we use the word in past form. If I were you. I Would buy. I would buy that hat. It's nice. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. If I in English class now, I would be watching TV. No, I would be sleeping. <laughs> Most likely, it's very likely. <laughs> uh huh. Which one do you choose? What? If, if I, I if I wasn't, yeah, if I wasn't. If I wasn't, because I, because this is unreal, we use weren't. Just because it's unreal. It's a hypothetical situation. But the, the real situation is that we are in class. I was only if it is real, but this is unreal, so mm -hmm. we just weren't. 
-hmm. If I were in English class, I would be watching TV. Bingo! If I met Who's that? Aladdin's genie? <laughs> I would give him a hundred more wishes. I, I will ask. I will ask. Uh -huh. I will, in this case, right? And I ask. Oh, this is present. But it's unreal because, I mean, there's not a possibility we will meet the genius of Aladdin. <laughs> but anyway, they say, I ask. Okay, I think that one was, I would ask. But anyways, they didn't include that one. All right, so that was just a couple of exercises to improve your grammatical structures this is called the second conditional or unreal conditions right that's when you say hypothetically speaking if i had money but i don't have money so if i were the president but i'm not the president right so that's why we use the verb in past because it's something that if only if that was possible that were possible right so Let's move on. Well, we're done with this. With this lesson, we just started on this lesson, on this class, and we're done now. Okay, so we're going to move to this other lesson. Hopefully, we're going to be able to discuss a little bit of the design, a basic checklist to hire a third party logistic provider, right? A checklist, it's a list that you just make according to what you consider it is important before doing anything. So in this case, of course, the checklist has been applied to choose a good third party logistic, okay, for moving any products or any goods that you might need to. So the first thing we're going to do is, does your company use basic warehouse functions like receiving, stacking, packing, or shipping? Why is it important to do thorough needs assessment before hiring a third-party logistics service provider? So these are some of the questions you need to first think about. I'm not quite sure if you work for a factory or a company or a business that needs to do some logistics to start with, right? Mm -hmm. But in, if that was the case, okay, so think about it. If your company is basic warehouse functions like receiving, stacking, packing, or shipping, and then why do you think it is important to think about deeply through the needs assessment before hiring, okay? To evaluate all those important details before hiring, before contracting a third party logistics service, right? So think about that. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes. If you wanna write down, if you wanna think of possible answers and take notes, it's, all doable. It's all right.
All right, anybody would like to share about this? Does your company use basic warehouse functions like receiving, stacking, packing, or shipping? Because your company does or because your company doesn't? Just let us know. Maybe you can speak on the microphone or you can write down on the chat. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Tell us. Well, I see no responses. Nobody would like to talk about this activity or this questions provided by the memo. Well, I was asking if your company, the company that you work for, uses this basic warehouse functions, but apparently no one. So let's work on vocabulary, match the logistics services to their corresponding meaning. So here you have the logistics services and these are the meaning, try to match them. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes. If you want, I can also share a screenshot if you don't have the manual yet.
All right, completed. Yes? Done. Let's see. A lead certification. What is it? It provides a point of a point system to score green building design and construction. Very good. That means this is the letter A, right? This yes. should be letter A. Awesome. It provides a point system to score green building design and construction. Okay, right forward being service. A company that organized shipment from corporation to get food from the manufacturer to a market customer or final point of distribution. Distribution, that's right. This should be letter B. Okay, a company that organizes shipments for corporations to get goods from the manufacturers to market customers or final point of distribution. Disaster recovery. Set of procedures to recover and protect business IT infrastructure in the event of a disaster. Exactly. That should be letter C. There's a set of procedures to recover and protect the business IT infrastructure in the event of a disaster. And the last, cross-stacking capability. The only one that we're missing, right? So this one. The products from a supplier are distributed directly to a customer or retail chain with marginal to no handling or storage time. Okay. So that should be the way it, it is completed. All right. Oh, we'll know this a little bit, but yes. Okay, so we better go back and your old drawings. All right. So it is time now for you to work in groups. Here, so I'll discuss the following checklist with areas to consider when evaluating third party logistic candidates, which are the most important. So this is something you're going to discuss with your partner, but I'm going to read them so that you have ideas or if you want to clarify any doubts, right? So please check the column yes or no for each of the statements about 3PL candidates. They are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. They have great references. They have a disaster recovery plan. They offer cross docking capability. They offer for, for working services. They have experience in the countries in which you do business. They have leadership in energy and environmental design certification that is abbreviated with LEAD, right? So this is something you're going to discuss and then you come up with the best options, okay? So after checking all these areas to consider and evaluating other part of logistics, which are the most important. So probably you would say, yes, no, yes, no, this is important, this is not important. But that's something you're gonna be discussing with your colleagues, okay?
The first one is that financial is stable with a long history of successful operation. And to me is just because I think that everyone feels more comfortable with some company that has experience in the market or experience in what they do. So it is important to that triple a candidate it is with a good financially record and with a good history of what they do. Yes, I agree. Number two is they have great reference. And I think it is the same with the first one. Because that is how people know about other companies with the good or great reference that they have with other customers or even with, with, with friends that maybe are with that repeal provider yes i think uh, if the company have has a, a many good reference or many people talk talk to them good things about there yes. it's a good, it's a good um, The third one is yeah. they have a disaster recovery plan. To me, is a no, but is it is like an option that the triple candidate can have or no. So I think it's not like 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 I don't know how to say obligados to have a disaster recovery plan, but it's like indeseable. Um, the third one, they have a disaster recovery plan. Uh, is about if we is if it is relevant to consider to consider to to hire a TPL. Yes. Mm, I I consider that is important. Uh, for example, um, I if they have a disaster recovery plan, I would say no. Uh, because I think that uh, they have to, they, they they should have a plan in case of contingencies. Could be okay. Uh, no, in this case, if if they have ah uh, uh, sorry um, so I I. I was confusing uh, because I think that it's disastrous. Disastrous is because the their plan is bad. But this is they um they have a a, a recovery disaster plan. Disaster recovery. Uh huh. Disaster recovery plan. So I would suggest because it's important that they have a yeah. uh uh huh in case a uh, an accident or 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 something that if the if the warehouse. A uh, cool damage because of raining or or something. They should have a disaster recovery plan. Yeah. I always think about the uh, when the little pequeños comerciantes, no puedo cómo se dice. Small small business owners. 
as an accident mm -hmm. uh, what happened in this case when I, mm -hmm. they, I lost, lost uh, everything if they if they don't have if they are not assured or uh, they they don't have insurance so they they will they lost everything yeah mm -hmm. uh, next one number four I don't know what is cross docking capability. Cross docking capability, it is a set of procedures to recover and protect a business IT infrastructure in the event of a disaster. I don't know what is cross docking. I think it is the way that how the third party logistics recover and protect your IT infrastructure in case of a disaster. So I think it is important because now on more because in these days every company has like a IT infrastructure like a web page like a app if it is for Android or iOS yeah So the next one is they offer freight for awarding services. So I don't I think that is important because the freight. So they have a so uh, if we are talking about logistics, I think that is um, is important, but but I'm not sure, one hundred percent what is what is a uh, phrase for work and services. Could be depend of the the instant, distance, or where's the the place that they have to. to Mm hmm because I'm looking for freight for words and and it says there is a, a friend says, uh just to say that is a is a intermediary intermediate between the exporter and importer and the uh, and the uh, transport companies. So, uh huh. The so the freight the freight for warding is like is like uh the ship it is a uh, agente de carga is a uh, they are intermediate rates between the company that sends or the customer. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, between the company that sends the, the ship, the 
or the, warehouse. The mercancy, uh huh, in the in the final destination of the mercancy. So I feel yeah. the the freight the freight forward is a ship the the agent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I feel that that it would be important because if the if the company has the capacity of of to uh to offer the the freight forward it says there is a there is a company enough bigger to to give a, a variety of services so i think that is that it, that it could be it could be good to analyze yeah in many case uh, the the freight the freight forwarding service is is uh contractor mm -hmm. not always is is the, the own company for mm -hmm. example that that was uh that was happened in, in guatemala uh, many mm -hmm. trucks are stopped at block there there are freight forwarding service I think. Okay, so the 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 freight forward services are more related with the trucks. Yeah. Okay. So I think I am looking for and they say in mo and and it says, in most cases, freight forwarders provide a variety of supply chain services, including ocean or air freight transportation, inland transportation from origin from origin and or to destination, preparation of documentation, warehousing and storage services, consolidation and the consolidation, and cargo insurance and customs compliance. So. Basically, the freight forward is a company that offers all the services from the ship, uh, in uh, from the ocean, the the ship in the ocean to transport, or the inland inside the country or between, or via, uh, for how do you say for for highway, and all the 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 people. So it is like a, a company, an agency, the 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 freight forward. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is they have experience in the countries in which you do business. Um. So, I think that it that it could be it could be good if the if the company because it says that uh, if you want to if you want to to. to to send your mercancy, uh, your merchandise, is you can you can operate with the same with the same company. For example, if you if you want to to send to Costa Rica or Panama or aha, uh -huh, uh, uh, and it's the same company is better because you can you could have a, a discount of or a special, uh, how do you say tarifas, tarif. Tariffs, mm -hmm. so yeah, that it could be different if you, for example, for if if for Honduras, Guatemala, and Salvador, you have one one three PL, and for Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and, and Panama, you have another three PL. You could have if if the same three PL, a uh, third party logistics uh, have operation in all the countries is better because you. Uh, you have the same contract under the under the the same triple yeah uh, to me the it is a no a no because it is like when you want to apply for a job you don't always mm -hmm. need experience so maybe you give the benefit of the doubt to apply or to choose the triple candidate 
So to me it's an Okay. And this case could be um no. And the number six. Mm -hmm. And the seven is they have lead leadership in energy and environment design certification. And it will depend on the kind of business that you own. So to me, it's a no. Because also it's important to remember that we are considering the most important. And I don't think that all the all the statement has to be yes, 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 yes. Right. Uh Yes, the number seven too. All right, according to your checklist, which areas are important to consider when evaluating your third party logistic candidates? I bet you discuss, you already express why it is important or why it's not important. Okay, so I see. Is it important to check? If the third party candidate are financially stable with a long history of successful operations, yes or no? Yes, yes. Definitely, right? Okay. Is it important to see if they have great references? Also, yes. Yeah, of course. Okay. Is it important to see if they have a disaster recovery plan? Nope. Not not that important. Why not? That can be optional. That can be optional. Yeah. Of course, if they have it, it would be considered a plus, right? In case you consider that it's kind of risky to transport or to stock some merchandise, right? If they offer cross docking capability. Yes. Yes, and it will depend, of course, right? If it's something you have to move from far away, long distances, 
So that would be also important, okay? If they offer uh, freight forward services, I think yes. It would be okay. Yeah, it has a plus, but it could be also be optional, right? So it's not that is strict. But if they have it, okay, why not? If they have experience in the countries in which you do business, mm, maybe no, because you don't you don't always need experience. You don't always need experience. Yeah. So for some people, for some business, it would be great to know that they have experience, but as long as they are reliable, I don't think would be that mandatory, right? Yeah. And to see if they have leadership in energy and environmental design certification. I think no, because it depends on the kind of the kind of company that you own. Exactly. It should be important <laughs> because we all need to protect the environment. Yes. Save the people, earth. Exactly. But some people just care about their businesses, right? And in a few years, we might be in really hard, difficult situations. All right. Yes. Okay. So just for the, yeah, because of the time, we have to take the last attendance and then we're done. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. We are going to start with Abigail is not here tonight, right? I don't happen to see her. Oh, yes, I see her name. Atilio? Yes. Hi. Oh, yes, there you are. Elizabeth Stephanie? Present. You have two different pictures? Stephanie or two different profiles? <laughs> different <All right>. profiles. <laughs> All right, from different devices. That also happens yes. to me. <laughs> if I connect from my cell phone, I connect with a personal profile. But I mean, for teaching, I never do that. But if I'm attending just an online meeting, I will do it. So, Emerson. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Fernando. Here. Francisco. Francisco didn't connect. It's been a while. I don't see Francisco actually. Hazel? Hazel. No. Julissa Jamilet? Julissa? No. Carla Ivania? Luis Javier. Luis Miguel. Miguel. Present. Okay. Uh, then we have Manuel Alexander. Present. Okay. Marilyn. Present. Mario Ernesto. Present. Roberto. Isabel. Present. Ronald. Present. Victor. Vidal. And Waldir. Present. And Carlo Alberto. Yes. Present. Oh, yes. Okay. Some of you sound very tired. Some of it. Okay. Well, have a wonderful night. Hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks, you too. Take care. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night.